Globalization is, is the flow of services and goods and, and people and occasionally diseases across borders. Now, this has been happening for a while. Um, and I think we intellectually understand globalization. We know that this is happening and, and it's to some uh, extent something that we cannot really change. Once we have unleashed it, it is there to stay. The panic around Ebola actually only arose when people realized that this threat was now not just imagined and it was not in places that they didn't know about. It was now in the U.S. Ca uh, case, it was uh, happening in Texas, in other countries when relief workers came back and had contracted Ebola. So I think this is emblematic for globalization as a phenomenon. We, we understand it intellectually. We think we can relate to it and we obviously uh, exploit it on a daily basis and it has a numerous benefits. But when it comes to things like diseases that do spread across borders, there is a certain panic when we realize that the world is one, there is one planet, and you know we are all affected when an outbreak happens and, and has not been contained locally. What should people be aware of around Ebola? Well, I'm not a public health official, so the only thing I can say is that basic uh, health and, and hygiene is important in all cases. Why wasn't the U.S prepared uh, to take this seriously before it happened in Texas? I think the answer is that we haven't yet understood the emotional effect of globalization. We don't really realize on an everyday basis that even though things seem far away and we haven't been there, um, it may not be so far away. Globalization means that the potential for contact uh, can change on a daily basis. You cannot really predict exactly how people move around. And this, in turn, means that when you are going to coordinate a global relief effort, you need a very powerful actor that can act fast uh, and has the power and resources to mobilize resources, not only from their own institution, but from other organizations around it, which is why I think the UN efforts uh, need to be much more concerted and, and probably need to start way earlier than just a relief effort for a particular outbreak or a containment effort. What we're dealing with here is the fact that uh, around the world we have several collapsed states where their health systems just wouldn't be prepared to tackle any kind of emergency. So globalization's dark side is that we now need to deal with that as if it was near to us. And it actually deserves to be taken seriously as if it actually is part of our own identity and part of where we live. That's at least what the lesson of Ebola has been, and it was a surprising lesson to some of us.